For the past 12 days, I've been using the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro nonstop. But later today, I will be returning it. Before we do, let's go over what a typical day looks like with this machine. Kicking off the day at 9.30 a.m., I opened up the laptop with a full charge and ate some breakfast whilst watching some YouTube videos. Once I'm done with breakfast, I move on to opening up Notion where I like to plan out my day and write down all the tasks I have to do or want to get done. I recently started this habit of working everything into Notion, so I also open up a script of a video that I wanna to shoot today. As always, filming takes longer than usual, but once I'm done with that, I start importing all the footage. I did shoot a lot of it on my iPhone, so I can just airdrop that over to my computer. But for the rest of the things, I plug in my SD card from my camera, which is so clutch that this laptop now has an SD card slot and I plug in my mic to dump some audio. Once everything has finished dumping, I can start doing some emails. I generally like to structure my day where I do the biggest task at the start and then say emails and admin in the middle of the day because I know I get a little bit tired during the end of the day. It's now 1 p.m. and I closed the laptop about 30 minutes ago. So we're sitting at around three hours of usage at 70% charge left. So we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna head out now to go do some editing outside as currently our home doesn't have a desk or a table. And I really like this spot we're going to. The New York Public Library is one of my favorite places to go and do some work here in the city. First off, it is free. It has not only a desk and a chair, unlike my apartment, and it also has some Wi-Fi, but it's not the fastest in the world. I like it because it's a quiet space and most people are there to study or do some work as well. So you're kind of there to focus. I brought the laptop as well as the iPad to pair with Sidecar to hopefully get a little bit more productive. Editing on this laptop is a dream and over the past 12 days, I've gotten to edit a few different projects on this laptop. Some being these YouTube videos, but another project that came across my desk was editing a video podcast. It was about an hour long with three cameras and audio that I have to sync as well. Syncing was not an issue and cutting between the cameras was pretty seamless. It only really held back when I was live cutting and doing a little bit of color grading near the end. Granted, I'm notoriously known for having a lot of tabs open in my Google Chrome. So after closing that, it did help a little bit, but the issue was still there. On a previous project, I did use a 64 gigabyte model of this same laptop and it did handle multitasking a lot better. So that is one of the main reasons I'm going to be returning this laptop and upgrading just to get a 64 gigabyte RAM and possibly a two terabyte SSD instead of the one terabyte that's in this laptop. Starting this session around the 1.55 p.m. mark with about 73% battery 
and ending around 3.55 before I had to plug the laptop in was pretty good. I managed to actually crush most of the edits that I wanted to. I just had to do a few minor tweaks before I could export. Having this size of laptop, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I was considering maybe going for a 14 inch, but especially doing a lot of days outside of home and not having an extra monitor, I do like the 16 inch capability as it allows me to have a little bit more screen real estate when I'm wanting to multitask. The time is now 4.20 p.m. and I'm ready to export my video. It's about five minutes long with a lot of different cuts and sound effects and effects and color grading on top of it. And it exports in a minute and a half, which is pretty cool. Whilst it's exporting, I can search for a place to get a haircut. And especially in New York City, it is pretty expensive if you're looking around Midtown or Lower East Side. I think the average price is around the $40 to $50 mark. So I'm thinking to get a haircut down in Chinatown and I heard it's a lot cheaper. So this might be a video in and of itself. It's a little sad to see the laptop go, but I'm sure I'll pick another one up in the future. I also really liked actually that they got rid of the touch bar and back to buttons or keys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.